there's a, a, a justifiable sense of concern in his camp that this thing could get away from him. It may be their race to lose, but it's a, a race that could be lost, which is something they didn't feel when they left that convention in Milwaukee. Well, and she has this background as a prosecutor, and she's really trying to, to create this contrast between someone who is a convicted felon standing on the stage with her and, and her prosecuting felons. Well, the other thing is the two of them on a debate stage, the whole scenario shifts. You've got a guy who's 78 years old, who frankly isn't all that coherent all the time uh, himself, uh, who suddenly looks like the past uh, and not the future. And uh, so it's not the it's this is not the scenario the Trump campaign wanted. They thought they had this race under control. It, it is much more uh, it is much more of a contest now. Yeah. And, and look, she has a lot of momentum. But if you do look at the polling, this is still a really tight race. This is going to be a hard fight for, for either side, uh, a tough uh, based on the uh, numbers we're seeing right now. 100 percent. Look, I mean, I mean, any anyone, you know, there's a lot of irrational exuberance on the side of uh, on the Democratic side of the aisle right now because there was despair. Uh, for some period of time about what the November was going to look like. Now people feel like there's a chance. But it is absolutely Trump's race to lose right now. He is ahead, and uh, he is ahead most of the battleground states. Uh, they're close. They could be won by either candidate. But there is a lot to be determined in the next uh, uh 90 whatever days 96 or whatever it is left uh so um yeah i think it's a wide open race but trump has the advantage right now and nobody should nobody should be uh nobody should be everybody should be sober about that on the democratic side yeah and to that so i think 